What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. Hope you guys are having a fantastic one. Uh, encoding overload, hold on. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all have a fantastic day. Let's go ahead, jump right into this episode. There's two episodes left, and I hope you guys enjoy both of them. Mon this today is Monday the 24th. Let's get it going. Let's get the show on the road. We have Sophie, level 65, with a Brutal Swing, Topsy Turvy, Dragon Claw, Darkest Larian, with Thick Bad Ability. We got Joey with the Quick Claw, with Low Sweep, Darkest Larian, Secret Power, and Storm Throat. We got Cassandra with Dragon Pulse, Muddy Water, Sparkling Arya, and Corn Forcer. We've got Nick with Photom Geyser, Moon Geist Beam, Earth Power, and Amnesia. We have Feta because it's got a Feta Sweep with Photom Geyser, Discharge, Waterfall, and Moon Blast. And we got Aaron the Mega Mewtwo with Psycho Cut, Cross Chop, Earthquake at aqua tile <clears throat> hopefully you guys all are ready i'm ready but also not ready because i don't want this series to end like every single one of you guys probably are like what the heck the series is ending and i'm like i know right like there's literally two more episodes and it's just like ooh, that's an oh babe hoopy scoopy right there but yeah i know i can't believe that it's two episodes away and this episode we're taking on the eighth totem then last episode we're taking on the grand trial and victory road and it's just like it's mind-boggling to me that we're there oh me we fight mina too um but yeah today we're gonna do a lot of 6v6 battles so as much as they're oh <laughs> She actually has a mon that she normally does. She's got a Clef. She's got Clef, the best worst Pokemon ever. You know, you know. Have you, I don't know if you haven't heard of Clef. Clef is annoying. Everybody hates Clef. Um, and that's about it. Um, we actually don't have anything for Clef either. And three mons are weak to it. Four mons are weak to Clef. Um. So, my best play is to go into Fitta. I don't like the fact that it's my best play, but fairy types are just not good for our team. Something we don't really want to run into very often. So, if we can avoid it as much as possible, that would be preferred. But anyway, how has y'all's day been? Like I said, today is Monday the 24th. I have a day off, but when you're seeing this, I... Ow! Why do you have a steel type move? That's Iron Head, too. Why do you have the best steel type move in the game? Why? Can you explain to me why and in what universe you would have the best freaking steel type move in the game? Anyway, back to what I was saying. Right now, as you're seeing this, I am actually getting my car fixed. Fun, fun, fun. Um, and so it'll be interesting. To, uh, and, you know, um, I recorded the Beagers uh, today, technically. Um, we recorded episode 28 of the verses because 27 goes up to, uh, on Thursday. So in the middle of our gen lock, um, marathon, which again, don't forget the gen lock marathon on the 26th at 11 o'clock. What the fuck? Bro, why does Clef have the best coverage ever? I swear this Clef is literally on drugs. I just, I mean... Mind you, it's hilarious that I say that when we're going against literally the hippie trainer, but it's got Play Rough, Iron Head, and we're going for Play... What? I don't get it. Um, I'm so confused. I think you're Play Roughing into something that can kill Nick, though. Sucker Punch. That's what you use. Got it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so Genlock finale, uh, or a marathon, so you guys can catch up. Have a great time. You lived on one, you son of a gun. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. It's crazy. Um, and I genuinely can't believe how far we've come along and everything that's happened and 
everything that we've done. It's it's really amazing and wonderful to see um, us just doing what we can and like anything that we can to do better and get better. You're gonna play rough this turn, aren't you? Oh no, you're still sucker punching. Yes, we wasted all your sucker punches. Um, and I just, you know, like I said, I, I have to thank every single one of you guys that spend the time sitting here watching these episodes, hanging out with me, and all of the craziness that you guys do and endure just to say hi and hang out. It's amazing. Like, like I said, I can't do this journey without you guys. You guys are very important and imperative to that journey. So let me know what you guys like and if you guys are liking this series in the comment section below. Also, please leave a like. It does help out considerably and does a ton for the channel. So if you can do that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, but, hey, shiny clink clank. Let's go. Um, but I'm getting everything art. Oh, no. Oh, I oh, yeah, that's right. I'm a plus four special <laughs> defense. Why am I freaking out? Plus, Clink Clank is not especially a attacking Pokemon either. But, yeah, no. Also, I'm going to get art figured out for Soglock. I am going to have it professionally done. Um, and I'm excited for that. Because, um, again, I don't usually splurge on professionally done art. Uh, that's really not ever been my thing. Um, I like to be able to do it and learn. Um... But this time, for a series that's gonna go on for years, literal years, nah, I'm joking. It's gonna be like, maybe, maybe a year um, long series. I hope not. I genuinely hope not, because it's a three day a week series, but it has the, oh no, I can't switch now. That's physical, isn't it? That totally is. Crap. I made a bad play. I made a lapse in judgment. And that could hurt. Oh, that could very much hurt. Oh, boy. Because any form of crits will kill me. And will kill Nick. We can't be losing Pokemon now. Uh, but yeah, like, it's three days a week. It's gonna be Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, so they'll have even spacing, which will be really nice. Uh, and that leaves, like, if I do a full-time series with somebody at some point, um, down the road, it also leaves me with that Monday, Thursday, um, for getting those episodes up, which is gonna be phenomenal. Versus is almost over, which is insane to think about, because, you know, it doesn't feel like Versus is getting close to over, but... Yeah, it's closer than some of us want to admit. <coughs> closer than I want to admit. Um, Cage Lock, though, is still going to be running strong. Um, Aaron said he needed to take a little bit of a break. And, of course, I fully support him and his advents. Um, and so because of that, definitely want to make sure he's taken care of. So, that's a high roll. I don't like that. That was 100 that was almost 100 damage. It was 98. But that was a max roll. And we're faster. Okay, I didn't even realize we were faster. But yeah. So that'll be on a minor hiatus. It'll be in uh, probably, hopefully, another week before we start posting it. I let him know that if he wants to send me the footage, he can totally do that. And I can edit it and get it all covered for him. Um, but his computer had a issue, I guess. Um, and like I said, I 100,000% believe in what he says because he's an honest and trustworthy person. Um, and so because of that, I know he's not lying to me or doing anything like that. Um, so there's definitely something wrong with his computer. And because of that, that does end up hurting our process a little bit. But I know we can work through it. Him and I are amazing and hang out and do a whole bunch of stuff. And, you know, I can't... They're, they literally have nothing bad to say because he's just that good of a person. Um, but it is definitely a very interesting situation because, of course, you know, Beaker's computer breaks. Now Aaron's computer breaks. I'm glad I invested $1,000 in my computer. That's all I'm saying. Thanks, Patrick, for making that a thing. Um, like, honestly... That he's the one that got me into the computer 
um, and got it all kind of worked out, figured out for me. Um, so without him, it would be definitely a much different situation. Um, I probably still would be attempting to rock the laptops and only you OG people will know what that means. Um, but anyways, anyway, thank you um, all for understanding and being there. Um, but yeah, we're out here. We're doing it. We're doing what we need to do to survive and do good. Because uh, again, we want to create the best quality content. So we'd rather create better content and better quality content than trying to rush everything out get things to work because Aaron also works a full-time job I don't um so that does change a lot of things um like he does have a life that he has to attend to um oh earthquake so anyway like I said thank you for understanding um sorry that that has to be the case but like I said I trust Aaron and I know Aaron's gonna be available when he's available and that he would love to create content for you guys soon. Um, oh, I clicked the wrong button. No, 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 no. Why do you have Stone Edge too? Jeez. You have move sets. Um, I'm gonna heal then, because I I biffed that. Um, and I'd rather stay safe. Better to be safe than sorry, as everybody always says. Um, so let's be safe. And yeah. So I hope that everything goes well and everything continues to be better. Um, and yeah, but yeah, no, it's definitely an it, yeah interesting situation. Ah! I need to stop hitting the button. Okay, now I know I'm fine. I can live from that range. I can't believe I double clicked the wrong button. Yeah, no, I knew I lived from that range. Even a crit, I would have lived. But it definitely was not the smartest thing accidentally like hitting amnesia twice. I was a waste of 3k. Um, which is never fun. But 69.69 is how much she gave me. Okay. Naturally, that's how much she's gonna give me in money. Um she's level, so this entire section, she's is level 58. Almost level 60. I think the ace is gonna be level 60. Um, this totem is gonna be level 60, actually. I do know that much. So, totems are going to be a pain in the booty because of that. So, I'm going to heal first, buy some extra potions because I'm going to need them. Actually, wait. Can't I adjust? I can. Hold on. I had an idea. For once in my life, I had a very, very phenomenal idea. And that is using the Charizard Glide system and just going where I need to go from Charizard Glide. Which would be Aether, or, um, a Melee Melee. There it is. I need to go to the graveyard. That's my first stop. It is the graveyard of doom. <laughs> but, yeah, so we fight. We have to fight from here. We fight Lima, and then we fight uh, Lana or Mallow. One of the two. I think it's Ma or Lana, but don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. But, yeah, now we can buy full restores, which I might as well just invest thirty in, in, in all 38 of those. And then just use the hyper potions, or the one hyper potion that I can buy and invest it as, like, I probably shouldn't have bought that many full restores, to be fair. Um, but we did it anyways. Two five gum. Stimulate your senses. Charizard. 2020. Um, if Charizard makes it this far in the video, then he better comment that line. Let's see if he makes it. I'm calling you out. <laughs> um, oh, Incinnababe. We love Incinnababe. Incinnababe is the best. I'm, jo like, I'm joking, though, to be fair. I hope you get that I'm joking. That's not, that's not, that is, although that it is, no, those legs aren't my type. I'm sorry. I can't even, I can't even go along with it. I can't even go along with it. I, I wanted to go along with the joke and I just couldn't. Um, I was like, yeah, no, that's not my type. You can't be top heavy. I'm sorry. 
Uh, you literally know. Like, you can't have lots of muscle on the top of your body and then nothing on the bottom. Don't work out that way. Even spacing. Even spacing. That's how it goes. <laughs> Yikes. But yeah. Time to fight Lima, who's probably gonna be a lot harder than um, other mo other people. But you have been challenged by Lima. Ooh, Nihilego! What an interesting Pokemon. Um, especially with Selfie leading, that's not a good start. Okay, go ahead. Oh my gosh! I swore I healed. What did I? Uh, what? I forgot the heal. What an oofy poopy scoopy on my part. How did I forget the heal? Time to put Aaron the freaking Mega Mewtwo to work, I guess. I guess you didn't really need to be put to work. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oops. Well, I should kill anyway. I'm a Mega Mewtwo. If I don't kill, I'll be surprised. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if we don't kill, then what is this game? Next level 66. Lima sends out a Sun Flora. Um, again, we still don't have anything for grass types. <laughs> I love that we just don't have anything for like specific types. Grass being one of them. Um, let's see, it's grass and fairy. Like if we run into a Shenotic, we're just screwed is basically the case. <laughs> If we run into Shenotic, it's JJ. Um, Bisharp. Oh, Bisharp, easy. Bisharp is too easy. But yeah, like, if we run into Shenotic, it's just game over. <laughs> so, let's not run into Shenotic, and we'll be fine. You know, that's how, that's how I feel. That's how it's gonna work. Um, but yeah, so... Lima sends out Quellfish. Another easy Pokemon. Nice. Okay, we might just... That's like, guys, let's have Mega Mewtwo X in the front of the party. So that way, we can just so weep through the rest of the game and add no entertainment value. That's basically what I'm doing right now. And I feel so terrible. But, like, there's this whole saying of utilize your resources. And if I'm not utilizing my resources, then what am I actually doing? Um... Like, and I know that's such a weird statement, but it's also such a true one. Like, the whole point of being able to utilize your resources and the whole reason to why that's a thing is that exact purpose. Um, got a brutal swing. Might as well. The sh Hydro Pump. Ooh. Sophie is just every freaking episode having issues. But I, th I like the team being as cool as they are. Like, the team is really a cool team. As that is uh, doodly number one town. And Cassandra goes up to 66. And Feta up to 66. Let's go, Halucha. Oh. Halucha. I'm going to go into Aaron. Aaron's the best bet. Psycho Cut's going to be super effective and we be we'll be fine. Um, that's what having a psychic type does, especially when you're going against all level 58s and you're level 65. And actually, I need to check what level B Elite 4 is going to be, because I feel like I'm actually kind of getting close to being on par with them, and that's a little scary. Ooh, some Elite 4. Okay. Calculator. Yeah, I'm on par with the Elite Four. It's not what I wanted to do, because the Elite Four is going to be all level 66. And then the champion. Champions level 69. So, I mean, I mean, we're still, I guess, 
in a decent spot, but we're still a little bit higher level than I would have liked to admit. But then again, we just fought a level 66. So it's not like we're that far off. Like, I'm not even like, uh, like this is a to be fair moment. Because, yeah, I mean, we just fought a level 66 thing in my digger. And then, like, yeah, I don't know. Time to fight people! Oh, I can't wait to watch Ryan do this part. <laughs> he's, he's gonna be so clueless on where to go. Oh, I'm going to laugh so hard. Please, Ryan, please stream this part on a day that I can see it. Please, for the love of all that is holy, I better be able to see you struggle through this. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Watching Ryan just struggle so difficultly through this section. It's just gonna, yeah. My non is the easy Pokemon. Super easy, actually. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Again, it's nothing I'm worried about. Um, You know, this one's a little bit more difficult, but like not that much more difficult, to be fair and honest. Um, like, the particularly low difficulty is kind of sad. Dang it, Paralysis. That's what I get for saying the mine is low difficulty Pokemon. Even though it's the truth, like, even though it's the truth, it's also, oh, okay. It doesn't matter unless you Thunder Crit. Thunder crit! Ba -ba -da -ba. Yep, that was. That, yep, I did that. If you guys can guess what I mashed up, then uh, you win a like from me. Even though I heart and respond to every comment. Um, well, actually, that would it would be different because I don't usually like comments. I usually heart and respond. So a like is actually rare. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Cause yeah, I usually heart and then respond to every comment. Not like if it's like comment, 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 comment by the same person. But like, you know what I mean. <laughs> this girl had a puzzle and a mine. Oh, uh, what are the chances that freaking Joy would have a Plusle and a Minun? I don't think the likelihood was that low. Carbink. Well, that gets wrecked because that's weak to ground as well. Drought. Oh, nice. Actually, we don't have a fire type to take advantage of that. Never mind. If only we had a boomy, then we'd be fine, but we don't. That's a one hit KO. 150 base power defense and special defense? Not a match for uh, Mega Mewtwo's Earthquake. Um, what else do we got? We got Feraligator. We got 
Dylan. Um, hmm. Going to fit up because the sun is up, and with the sun being up, Dylan literally does absolutely no damage. So we'll take it. It's a win. Oh, I was. I'm waiting for the level 60s to appear. Zap cannon. I guess theoretically that is the best option for it to use because its water moves are gonna do half damage. Yeah, that's terrible, but that is the case. It is in that in the, indeed the case. In fact, the case indeed the case. Either way, Espeon. Espeon, we can go into Sophie. Bop, let's go. Okay. See, Sophie is making it her case for being amazing. Setting up the spikes. Late game spikes, because they matter so much. <sighs> Late game spikes, because they matter so much. Late game spikes because they matter so much. Y'all. Yeah. I love late game spikes. Did you know that late game spikes matter a ton? Oh, that's a Megarna. Hello. That's a problem. That's actually a real problem for our team. Okay. That's bad. Very bad. Maybe the late game spikes will actually matter. And I will have made fun of it for nothing. I thought that was shiny, and it's not. Okay. If late game spikes actually tend to matter, then I'm gonna laugh so hard. But I feel like I oko this, right? Yeah. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. I wish I imagine if I had a choice band, a choice band in Mega Mewtwo. <laughs> that's a strat. Um, that's a big strat. But yeah, this is the last fight that we actually have to do, I think. Because unless we fight Sophocles, but I don't recall actually fighting Sophocles. Um, we get the blue and green petals. Then we go over, get the red petal. And then... Uh, yeah, I don't think we fight Sophocles. I don't actually think... we. F I don't think we fight anybody after this dude. So... Yeah, this might this will be a 30 minute episode, which is perfect. Um, it actually is really amazing that this is going to turn out to be like a 30 32 to 35 minute episode because you know, it's a little longer than normal, but it's definitely way better. No, 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 go back. Thank you. I don't want Pokemon Pelago or me or whatever. Pokemon Refresh, I guess, is what they call it in this game. But yeah, we got this. We got this. We got this handled. I believe that we don't actually... Do we actually fight... No, we don't fight Kiawe. We fight this dude. And this dude still has six mods, I believe. I believe he's considered important, an important trainer. If he's not... Hold on. I swear he fights. Oh, nope. It's Kiawe. Okay. It is, like, in fact, Kiawe. Okay. I was like, I don't know. I I, first, I always think we fight the hiker, which we might fight the hiker. But I think that we... We... we oh. oh. We, of course, electric form or choreo. The one that doesn't get bodied. Um, let's see. The one that's electric and flying. Um, so what do you think that's... What is that weak to then? Rock, which we don't have. Ice, which we don't have. We literally don't touch this thing. Okay, fun. That's great. I'm going to still Psycho Cut it. Because I still think that's going to do over 60%. I think it's going to go like 78%. It's almost 80%, and then Flare Blitz actually kills it with Recoil, so we got lucky. 
I definitely count that as a win. We definitely got lucky there. Oh, wow. Philemplus didn't actually kill with the repel damage. Okay. Well, now we kill it. Granbull? Oh, I know all the fun things about Granbull. Frank and Frank has, Frank also knows all the extremities of Granbull. Um, oh my god, let's not reference that ever again. <laughs> the way I said that, the way I just said that, he knows all the extremities. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, it is shiny too, and we know all know why it's shiny. Ah! <laughs> innuendos, innuendos, innuendos. They are sometimes a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> Like, that's a yiker. <laughs> oh. Okay. What a way to end the series. <laughs> the last words of the series. That is recorded. That's probably gonna be the last funny moment of this series. <laughs> uh, oh, if I could only do intro moments, then that would be it right there. I definitely need to learn a lot more on how to do intro moments. That's a fact. <clears throat> that is definitely a fact. I need to learn how to do intro moments a lot better. Oh, 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 John not paying attention. 2020. That's the amount of subs I'll have by the end of it. I'm joking. That's not, no, that's not going to happen. That's pretty much guaranteed not going to happen. Ah, uh, okay. Simisir, Cassandra, get out here. Um, we actually get to use Cassandra in this episode. Like, what? Shiny Simisir looks awful. I like, I mean, I like the fact that it's darker, and I do like that darker tone, but wow. I did, I would have never said, oh, that's a shiny. I just kind of looked at it like, uh, that doesn't look right. And it's just like, oh, that's a shiny. Okay. Oh, I missed. Naturally. Welcome to the Gamer Duel, while you, where you keep missing every freaking move. Bruh. I missed two of them in a row. Great job. We got three mons left until we can fight the totem. I mean, at least it will hurt us up a lot in recoil damage every time. Positive notes. But still, it's not the most... It's not the easiest situation in the world, for sure. <sighs> yeah, I know. I have no idea how I want to play this and how I want to figure it all out. But we're making it as work as, big, as much as possible here. Innards out and Cassandra will die. Thank goodness. I think Aftermath. If it would have had Aftermath, I would have died too. Nick out here, level 67. Let's go. Kiawe wants to send out an X-Cloud. Well, Kiawe, fear the wrath of Joey. Joey actually has a better wrath here. Um, <laughs> Joe, we see we're, we've used every single Pokemon on our teams this episode. Let's go. Because that is how you do it. You use every single Pokemon on your team, every single moment of every single. Oh no! And 
and casually hope that it doesn't have arrow blast and you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was a crit, though, at least. At least we got the fact that it was a gathered, it was a crit. Cloister. Cloister, I'm gonna send Aaron in because Aaron can body it. And that's the. That's how it is, okay. And then we get the red petal, which is awesome. Shiny? Ah, oh, I was hoping for that orange cloister. But yeah, that should knock it out. Come on. Yes. I mean, you have 180 base defense. It might not. No. It's super effective. You're good. Uh, hmm. Do I actually... I actually have a stupid idea that just may work. And that's leading with Mega Mewtwo and Earthquake in turn, turn one. I thought we fought the hiker. I was not stupid. But he only has one Mon, so he's not that big of a deal. Um, Hitmon top. More like Hitmon drop. Dead. Mm. Yep. Is that frank enough for you? <laughs> you can tell I definitely watched Gen Race before this. You can totally tell I watched Generates before this recording. Oh, oh my god. You can really tell. That <laughs> I'm so red. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, please bring me to the observatory. I don't have to fight Sophocles, right? My brain says no, and I'm going to listen to it. Although I shouldn't trust my brain, but I'm doing it anyway. Yep, okay, good. We're good. Yeah, he's going to give me this... Please, just do it. Nice, okay. Yellow petal achieved. And there's nothing on this next petal. Right, ah. I believe that they do give it to me instantaneously. Like, I don't have to fight Skull. I don't fight you. I There's no way I fight you. Oh, if I fight Guzma right now, I'm going to be mad. Okay, good. Woo! It's a little worried that they were going to do that to me, but they did not. Luckily. Lucky for us. Dude, next we do the totem, and then next episode, it's Hapu, and then Victory Road. That's it. That's all we got left in this game. Is Hapu... And the Elite Four. Or Hapu, you know, and going up to the Elite Four. And going up to the Elite Four is literally not gonna do anything. Because... It's a super fast trip. Although, I do not have a flying type Pokemon. So, because I don't have a flying type Pokemon, my strat for the double bottle is not going to work very well, is it? Yeah, no, I have no flying type. Crap. Do I have anything that resists ground? I really don't. Shoot. What I was... Well... Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Wait, what? Crap. I messed up. I didn't think we fought Nanu. Oh, we finally found it. Yes. Okay, Shiny Two Cannon. I love Shiny Two Cannon. Sorry, I had to. Um, 
Hmm. I don't know how I want to handle this. Because I just generally have no good option because I messed up. And it is genuinely because I messed up, but I just got to hope and Shadow Ball is nothing. That does nothing. We're fine. We're okay. I'll take that. I just got to hope there's nothing too crazy that pops up. And we're good. I should have just healed. I had the instinct to, and I just didn't trust my gut. I have a terrible habit of doing that. Okay, we've got next Ribombe. I don't like seeing that. So again, Ribombe is an annoying Pokemon for us. I kind of just go into Fitta and hope everything goes well not the best strategy in the world, but it's the world strategy we have to partake in. Nothing we can do. It's just something we have to... It's nothing we can do, but something we have to do. You know? It's kind of that situation. Dazzling Flame. Okay. That's not a problem. We have actually a stronger move in Moonblast. So, I don't mind two of those taking, it's a four hit KO, and for us it's a two. Nice, we got it. We definitely nailed it if you're, if you're trying to Moonlight Stall. Because you can't successfully Moonlight Stall. It doesn't matter, no matter what next turn you're losing this Mon. Nice. Good place. Good place. Okay, that's two mods down the drain. We got those. This is going to be an hour power, and I'm not trying to make it an hour power. But. I mean, next episode is going to be, like, nothing. As well. So it's interesting. So good to Mario. That's a clear-cut Aaron switch. And Aaron's faster, and Earthquake will Oko. But, do I play that way? That's the question. And the answer to that is no. I play it as safe as possible. Even if playing it safe is gonna theoretically make things... Or make things take longer. I'd rather stay alive, right? That's like the win. That's the goal. Fe Ooh. I don't see this doing too much. I see this doing like 100 damage. Not even close to that. Okay, we're fine. Now I feel definitely safe to Earthquake. Even though it looks like, yeah, we were safe before. As anticipated, uh, again, I want to make sure I make the safer plays and play the game of logic. Sim is here. Nice. Another one. Another easy dub Pokemon. It's funny. We keep running into this thing. We keep running into the monk this same exact monkey. It's not like the monkeys. It's literally this exact, this monkey. Because this is the third time today that I've ran into this exact Pokemon. Um, like I said, it's kind of hilarious. For it, not a problem. We can cross shop. You no issues. Level 60. There we go. There's our first level 60 Pokemon. And then the final mon of today's, or no, the final mon before the totem in today's episode. Luxray. That's funny. I'm down with that, though. I'm definitely down with that. And whop. Dead. Goodbye, Luxray. Here, take your purple petal as a prize. Are they talking about Mina being a troubled girl? I believe that they are.
now we go to... Pony and heal up and take on the totem. And that's it. Or... No, I said we're taking... Uh, or do I extend? Because Victory Road... Well, ah! Uh, because if I extend Victory... like, And I like stop to extend, then Victory Road may take us like... 30 up minutes as well. And it's just like, um... Do we make the sacrifice and hope? I love how the shirt is on my camera. It's blue. But it's actually green. Like, it's so weird. Did I heal? Make sure I did. Yes, okay, we're fine. Um, I'm like, we're going against a level 60 totem. Make sure you heal the John, because it's level 53 normally. And 53 times 1.1 is 58. Oh, wait. It's not going to be level 60. It's 58. Um, 58 point... Yeah, it'll be 58. So, never mind. It's not going to be level 60. But it's a positive stat at Pokemon. So, it's basically like a level 62. But... Crossing my fingers that it's an easy mod. Our final totem of today's episode and the final totem of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Genlock is... <sighs> I'm closing my eyes. Is that a comb fay? Oh. I have to hit the button. Kill. Oh, it is level 60. Okay, I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if this was any other mon, I would be freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> if this was any other mon, I'd be like, oh no, we're in trouble. But it's a freaking fire <laughs> So we're good. Oh, no, we're not. A plus, oh, oh. Wait, it's typeless now. What? Oh no. It just pro played the crap out of me. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. This just became real bad real quick. It's typeless now. Um. What do I do with a typeless Pokemon? Because it's only a fire type, burn up negates its fire typing. It is a question mark type Pokemon. I'm speechless. This just became a massive issue like that. I was laughing because I thought it was going to be easy peasy. And as you see with the damage roll, it would have been. Well, no, it wouldn't. I still would have. Even super effective wouldn't have done anything. Uh. And I can't get rid of this very quickly. It brought in a direct help. A direct, like, helpful Pokemon. Uh oh. Okay, it's gonna hurt itself. And because it's typeless, it shouldn't do. Oh my god, it does almost half a. Hydro Pump. Oh boy. Okay. Good for me, it has Flare Blitz. Because I can stall that thing out. It's typeless, and it, it being typeless just helps me out as well. 
So it brought me down to 77. Did that do more than 77 damage? It did not. That's so... I would have never in a million years would have been like, oh, by the way, this is going to be a typeless Pokemon on the other side of the field. Um, and because of that, I'm actually going to hard target the Executor because it's going to hurt itself in the process. Executor becomes more of a threat that way. Magnum Storm is going to hurt. But as long as I have... Okay, that's fine. That's enough health. No, it's not. It's actually not, though, because the Magnum Storm traps me. I just thought to make a Mewtwo. I just lost a Mega Mewtwo. And I'm still in peril. In and I'm gonna be struck. Oh, wait, okay, so Sophie. Although Sophie won't be faster, Sophie might have to be sacked for the greater good. Oh. <laughs> Sophie, you know I love ya. But you have to be sacked for the greater good. You're faster than the Executor. You're slower than the Heat Morm. As long as the Heat Morm doesn't Oko you, which it might. Okay, good, it didn't. Topsy Turvy. Now it has, its stat changes were all reversed. So now it's got minus three attack, special attack and defense. I actually did not think that Sophie was gonna tank that as much as she did. Um, But now I'm toxic. Crap. But the totem is not a problem anymore. So with the totem not being a problem anymore, I, again, I can't handle a grass type to save my life. But, it's a very big butt here. Fida can Moonblast and definitely take hits. This is why we kept Topsy Turvy. That situation is exactly why we kept Topsy Turvy. Because now, that is not a threat. The plus three everything Pokemon is now minus three everything. We just flipped it 36 stat changes. We took away 36 stat changes, basically. Just through one move. Now I'm not worried about that thing. Ow, sorry. Executor goes away. Perfect. He won't call for help again. Or he shouldn't because his thing just died. Flare Blitz should do like 10 damage. Oh, that did 30. Okay, that did way more than I was expecting. Oh, why do you call a direct counter again? That's a second time it's called a direct counter to what I have. Discharge is going to hit both of them, though. That's the second time. Heat more is gone. Which means my Vortex should be gone as well. Okay, I'm not trapped in Vortex anymore. I'm going into Nick. Nick has both some Geyser, and Nick will kill this thing. That's the plan. It will use a Psychic, or a, ooh, Toxic Spice. Could have been bad, but it was not in our case. I cannot believe we just lost a Mega Mewtwo in this episode, though. Like, what replaces that? Like, that's a massive replacement. But I guess we're going to have to figure that out in the next episode of Genlock. The final episode before the live finale. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope, sincerely, that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. The final episode 
of Genlog will be out tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Be there or be square. Oh, uh, we just got uh, this. Is, wow. Okay. Well, I don't even know what to say. I really don't. Have a wonderful one, everybody.